Hello everybody and welcome to today's lesson where we're diving into water mixable oils. So what are water mixable oils? Well water mixable oils are oil paints. I know that sounds silly but many people are not sure because of the introduction of the water so just for the record they are oil paints. They have been chemically modified in a way that they can mix with water, which is great news for many because the benefits are that they are easy to clean up because you just need water, which most of us have accessible. You don't have to purchase a solvent to thin the paint because many people are very sensitive to solvents or they're working in a small space with little ventilation. So that's great news. Uh, that you don't need to use a solvent, that you can just use water. So what do you need to use water mixable oil paints? Well, first and foremost, obviously you need the water mixable oils. Um, I'm using the range Georgian by Dala Rowney water mixable oil. Like regular oils, you can actually get water mixable oil painting mediums. And um, this is a really great one. This is a water mixable oil fast drying medium by Georgian. And I've really enjoyed using this because sometimes when you add um, a lot of water, it can take the pigment away a little bit. So using a medium will make sure that pigment is still there. And as I say, it's fast drying, so it will make your painting dry even faster. You obviously will need some brushes, um, just like regular oils. I really like using the more stiffer brushes like the hog bristle type brushes. Um, I've been enjoying using the Catalyst range and the Aspen range, both by Princeton brushes. These sort of brushes are great if you want to use quite impasto brush strokes and use a lot of oil paint and maybe even do the painting in one session. Whereas if you like very soft blends and very uh, detailed work and you like to do a lot of layers and let them dry in between, then I would maybe go for a more of a softer brush, softer brush, brush so brush. <laughs> That's pretty hard to say. Softer bristle brush and that will probably be better for you but as always give both a go and see what you like the best. And again just like regular oils you will want to be using a primed surface so make sure that your canvas has been pre-primed which generally they are when you buy them from the store or you can use oil painting paper which is something that I've really been enjoying using especially for little experiments and exercises and even trying out your painting before you actually paint it onto canvas. <laughs> so let's talk about some of the differences between water mixable oils, regular oils and acrylics. You might think what are the differences between water mixable oils and acrylics then if you can use water with them? Well like regular oils, Water mixable oils still have a lot of the quality of oils like slow drying times which mean that you can manipulate the paint, it stays wet for longer which makes blending really easy and really smooth and the colours are really rich still just like regular oils and the texture is again buttery and smooth so it's still very much the same as regular oils. Essentially water mixable oils are kind of the best of both worlds if you like the texture and rich pigments of oils but the solvent side puts you off a little bit then water mixable oils might be perfect for you. Also the fat over lean rule still applies to water mixable oils so if you're not sure about what that is uh, go and check my first video lesson and I'll go into much more detail about that. Colour mixing is the same as regular oils too so you can create your colour wheel which we did in the first lesson. And you can also create your colour swatch list, which is really helpful when choosing colours and mixing colours, when you can see it all there, because sometimes in the tube you can't always tell what the colour is like, and sometimes the labels are not always exactly right. Um, it also depends on what you know surface it is that you're using it on. So making one of these little swatch lists is a really great idea. And you can layer water mixable oils really nicely by using a very thinned, watered out first few layers and then once you let that dry you can go back in with thicker layers and even going in with impasto effect with a palette knife or thick brush strokes and that's how you will layer it really nicely. And rather than using a pencil to sketch out your painting, you can take a bit of water with a little bit of colour and use that to sketch out 
on your canvas or paper. And that's a much nicer way to use an oil paint to sketch rather than going in for a pencil. Cleaning up with water mixable oils is really, really simple and very similar to acrylics that you can wash your brushes in your water and I use a paper towel or you can use an old rag to dry them off on and then just a little bit of soap and water in the sink just to make sure you get all in the nooks and crannies and get that paint out. Like regular oils, I also really love to use a glass palette with water mixable oils. Uh, that way I can leave the oil paint out in case I do another painting session with it. But if I don't and it does dry, you can just scrape it away with a blade and it's fresh as new, ready for the next painting session. If you've got a wooden palette, I would recommend taking off as much paint with a paper towel and then washing it under the sink. And there are also disposable palettes that you can use, which of course are not waste free, but they are really simple to use and great for beginners. So have a little experiment with the water mixable oils. Using this oil painting paper is really great for little exercises and practice. I'm just going to do some little brush strokes and colour mixing exercises and blends as well just to get a real feel for the paint and see how it differs from the other materials that I might have used in the past. Even if you're used to using acrylics, the water mixable oils are quite different in the way they behave. So definitely have a little go. Maybe even paint just a little scene that's in front of you right now or a little still life. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, it could be something really boring. <laughs> even just a paint tube would make a great little study for a painting. So maybe try that and give that a little go. And I will see you in the next lesson where we will create this painting behind me, a stunning seascape together. So I'll see you in the next lesson.